Hello, I'm ABX Soycat and welcome back to the video. Today I have some good news for you all because a brand new update just dropped for Minecraft on all consoles. And as soon as this happens, most people like me to make these videos to let you know that one, it happened, and two, to let you know exactly what's inside it. And although this mostly is a bug fix update, so nothing to get crazy excited about here, it does have one really exciting addition that no one really uh, you know, saw coming until just yesterday because it is a brand new Fallout Battle Map Pack, which I'm really excited about because I like both Fallout and Battle. So I'll be streaming that in about 20 minutes when this video goes live. Make sure you check that out if you want to see Toy Cat playing all three of these brand new maps. But in case that's not your thing, let's talk about exactly what's in the bug fix with today's video. Hopefully you all do enjoy it. So like the video if you like these update videos, letting you know exactly when an update comes out and what's inside it. Again, right now this is a bug fix update, but I can, I'll also be doing this every single time any major update comes out, and I have done that in the past. So yeah, like the if you liked it, but let's get straight into talking about exactly what was inside this update. Besides the three brand new battle maps, there's Atomics, there's Libertalia, and there is Capital. So yeah, this is Atomics right here, by the way. We'll, we'll show around it a little bit just in case this is your sort of thing. But while we, uh, you know, do that and talk about this map, let's talk about, uh, you know, what else came in this bug fix update in case there's a really big one you've been looking out for. So first of all, uh, they added the Fallout Battle Map Pack. It costs $1.99, which is actually good value for once. I feel like, you know, these single battle maps they've been doing for $1.69 are just, they're horrendous value, especially when compared to, you know, free maps of $1.99. And I'm glad they finally just decided to be like, yeah, let's actually make this more online. So yeah, $1.99, you get free uh, Fallout Battle Maps. And so far, they look like they're pretty big. I mean, that could, that's probably just the, when you first get into them, it seems big, but that's the first thing. Uh, after that, we've got the bunch of bug fixes, which include a fix for for player's character becoming uh, vis in, uh, sorry, invisible to other players when they ride a minecart, pig, donkey, or any animal like that. Basically, your render distance would get attached to that off the mobs, which is a pretty bizarre one, but that's been fixed. Now you'll be able to see players even if they're riding donkeys in the distance. So that's a nice little change. Uh, the second one here is that they've uh, made a fix for bonus chests appearing near the center of the world, as opposed to where they're meant to be spawning, which is near where you spawn. Uh, fix for not being able to place a pig in a mob spawner using a spawn egg. So yeah, that's a feature a lot of people don't know about, but just in case that is you, uh, basically now they've uh, you know fixed it and they made it. So you can, in fact, make, uh, pl make pigs mob spawners if you really want to. Uh, they've also uh, fixed uh, the uh, crash that would occur if the player dropped an inventory item at any point during a battle round, uh, sorry, any point during the battle round end, and also a fix uh, for a crash that would occur if a player had an inventory menu open when the battle game ended. So yeah, the battle game, well, you know, ending was causing a few issues and they fixed both of those. So if you've been running into lots of crashes because of the way you end battle game, now you can do whatever you want, including open your inventory or even dropping items if that's your thing. So there we go. Look how wonderful that is. So as well as that, they've uh, got a fix for the player not riding a vehicle when they reload a save if they're running when, when the game was saved. This is an issue I've actually run into where basically the save game changes your state a little bit and it looks like they've actually fixed that one, which is uh, kind of a nice one. Uh, fix for a crash when saving some particularly large and detailed worlds. So uh, maybe that's why the impossible world was so tricky to play around with. It looks like they've optimized that, which is a it's a nice little change because most people don't have these giant worlds, but at least they're, you know, they're actually making it better for people that do have the ridiculously sized uh, worlds they've been working on. So, but yeah, as well as those things, they've made a fix for the stone axe appearing instead of the diamond sword in certain chests in the enchanting mini tutorial area upon restarting the tutorial, and also a change to allow crafting any wooden door to complete the door stage of the tutorial. Basically, there was a couple of bugs in the tutorial, and it didn't affect most of us because I'm sure if you're watching this video, you know how to play Minecraft. But if you didn't and you got stuck in the tutorial, then you'd be solved by this. But that's literally not watching this video, so we'll move on very quickly uh, to the next one here, which is a fix for the hit tooltip not being displayed when a player targets a crosshair, a polar bear, a creep or a squid, uh, a fix for the crash that occurred when the shape box is changed a few times in the fireworks UI after creating 64 fireworks stars, a fix for a variety of issues that occurred after changing from an online to an offline game, that is something I had experienced, uh, as well as a fix for end crystals beam persisting after the ender dragon's respawn is interrupted by destroying the ender cr crystals with TNT explodes option disabled. That is a very, very specific glitch, but I guess they patched it out right there. That's, that's how you know you're doing good with the bugs when like, you know, most of the ones that are being patched out are like, uh, it's a sentence and a half just to say it out loud, but that's uh, one that was fixed right there. And then we've got a fix for an error that could occur when uh, dropping frames, uh, dropping items when, uh, sorry, while standing in an active nether portal, as well as a fix for map vote UI not refreshing when the player has it open. So this is something actually kind of like frustrating where the you know what, what would happen before is the uh, you know the, you have to close and reopen the UI just to see the votes but now it's actually going to refresh automatically while you're in there which I think is good news so you can actually like tactically vote if you really want to without having to be really annoying which I think is great great stuff especially given there are brand new fallout maps again that's most of why you care about this I'm sure all of those bug fixes like someone was affected by some of those but realistically I'm most excited about the fallout battle maps I love fallout I really enjoy battle and I'm going to be streaming that at least a couple of times so make sure you come and say hello for one of those anyway I hope you did all enjoy today's stream 
stream. Like if you liked it, because it helps out the channel. Oh, wait, video. Like if you liked it, because it helps out the channel. Let us know you do like these sorts of, uh, you know, news videos. Let you know what's in inside an update, even though this update was just a bug fix. Uh, share it if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here, because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel, and if subscribed, you'll see them daily on your homepage. The next big update, or whatever they're working on currently, uh, is still in development, as far as I am aware. So, you know, TU50, uh, something, something's going on in the background. This doesn't, like, take up their time. They haven't been working on this for the whole last month. Uh, and yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video, because I'll see you all next time. Bye!